Houston, say again, please. All right, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 55 of Elden Ring on the PlayStation 5. We are exactly where we were, people, at the end of the last part. And the only thing I've got off camera, there's a stute of you will notice that we've gone from 16,000 runes to about 23,000. All I did was, my usual, jumped up here and just kept killing these guys over and over again. Just to clock up another, I didn't want to run around with 16,000 runes. As we're heading into Kaled, anyway, which is going to be a tougher area. So, let's spend them. Level up and ride your pony. And it's going straight into intelligence, people. Yes, it is. Marvellous. Level uh, int 32 now. I don't know. I mean, no one's said to me that I shouldn't have spent these points in mind and vigor. I mean, I, I feel like I needed to keep them in balance. Uh, but we'll keep pummeling into intelligence now. Of course, we're getting an extra, what, six intelligence from the hat and another item that we've got on in our... Runes or whatever they're called. Steve, come on now. Yeah, we're getting another three from raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. Oh, hello. Steve. To do that, Steve. Yeah, it raises the mind, intelligence, faith, and arcane. Yeah, takes them by three. Badger. The other one uh, would be for a different build. It's raising vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity. It also increases damage take. Well, I'm saying another build. I mean, it's a useful thing to put on if you don't want to spend points in something. If you're building a mage, for example, and you need a few points in strength and dex in order to wear a... Well, to wield our katana, for example, I suppose. It would have been handy back a, a little bit further back. But then, of course, blocks you from getting the intelligence perks later on. So. Anyway... Small recap. Jason did say, that man there, Jason, said, that the wooden structure, which was further up here, does have a path that I missed, apparently. I'm assuming it's the wooden structure down here he was talking about. Let's go and have a look. A... Uh, I guess it depends how easy it is for me to get to it without getting struck by lightning. There's lightning balls in the middle. Yeah, well these big badges are over here, aren't they? These big tentacle jobbers. Oh, hello. Oh, fucking ow. <laughs> Fucking hell. Give me a break, will you? What the fuck? Well, that could have gone slightly better, don't you think? Did I go in there? Must have done. Took a lot less damage than I thought it was going to do that. <laughs> Should we just have a heal for the sake of it? And rest up anyway after this. Right, we've got the big guys up here. Let's make it as simple as possible for ourselves. Hammered. back. Grab. Yeah, there is a path to drop down to. Ooh, hello. <laughs> it's just where I discover that this crab can leap great heights. Well, 
was just a waste of steam. Uh, jump it. Hello, begets. Something's going to leap out at me. Oh, there's a slight of grace in there. Pick up. Golden Rune 3. Come on now, something must be lurking in here. Hello, yes. Oh wow. this dude here is he playing the music yeah he is as well look like a little merchant dude first actually before we speak to They're not really the greatest of uh, business developers, are they? I mean, they put shops in the place where you're only going to get one customer every millennia. <laughs> they are nomadic creatures, as someone's shouting. They'll be travelling around. Removes filth and accumulation on the body. Soap oil pot and roped oil pot. Dappled cured meat and dappled white cured meat. A dex dagger, I think that'll be. Sure. The larval tier material needed to uh, needed by Rinala to grant rebirth. Oh, that's the respec item. Might be worth grabbing one of those. An arcane butterfly with translucent wings. Material used for crafting items exceedingly rare to find. What have we got we can sell to make some points that we're not using? I mean there's just tons of stuff I'm not I'm not using, isn't there? 
well, that said, we could have used the uh, golden rune instead of using it for level ups. That might be the most obvious thing. Because runes you can get back, other things possibly not so easily. Bloody hell, that's actually quite a lot. I didn't realise that was uh, level 4s, 1200. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We've actually got uh, halfway to our level up just for those. So, I don't think we need the cookbooks for now, do we? I'm not, I'm not crafting hardly anything anyway. Right, that'll do. Goodbye. Goodbye. Till next time. seem to get activated almost immediately that thing <laughs> fucking hell it's taking a number of hits that isn't it badges left now. Don't know why. <laughs> My brain's telling me this must be a hidden wall. Or maybe not. It's actually letting me summon my demi guys down here. Ah, I see where we are. I see where we are. Well, as it happens, we could just teleport at this point because actually, we'll just go back to the riverbank. We're going to teleport straight away, actually, but I didn't want to do it there just in case. Oh yeah, I, and people were saying to me that I don't have a rune arc in. It's just that that graphic still pops up even if it's empty. But we'll not waste one for now. The bars are looking pretty good compared to this, considering we've not got it in. Not activated. Uh, 
Okay, so at the end of the last part I was going, I'm sure I've been at Redmain Castle, and in fact I have, and we can teleport pretty much straight there. A so we yeah, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I got to this impassable bridge and we were getting firebombs and everything thrown at us. And it was the first time I'd got poisoned properly as well. And I think I got to... I, we ended up going round the back of the castle, met some vampire type creatures with a queen vampire one. And she poisoned me. But we did eventually get past it up onto the top of the tower, and then I met a couple of pretty bad-looking knights. We were a lot weaker at that point. Uh, but anyway, this is where we're meant to be going to meet Blyde again for the next time. That all said, however... They, this was a shortcut we found from down here in the Siofra as well. Took us up, and there's a map fragment here, so I think I'm going to go there first just to open up this portion of map. And possibly teleport again. I think there was a massive wolf creature in this, uh, this here bit. Let's go and see what's what. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, the map fragment seems to be behind us. Pretty sure there was a massive creature walking around up the top there. Yeah, there it is, look. I don't even know what it is. Some sort of bear, or yeah, it looks like some sort of bear. And bears and me never get on particularly well. Where's that going to then? Well, that's going down the way. So Feck knows how I'm managing to get up there, or how I'm going to get up there. That is going to take us back to... Well, interestingly, I wonder if you have to go through the cilia... Crystal Tunnel or something to get that fragment. We've certainly tapped into this area. Cilia back streets. Ooh, I'm not having much of a recollection of these uh, areas, people. I know that I came in here because I wanted to get the Katinar. And the Katinar was at the Magma Worm. Possibly the Magma Worm was... Yeah, we were certainly up here somewhere anyway. And that's why I tapped into this area in the first place, was to get that Katinar from the Magma Worm. So it's possible that this is actually underground rather than overground, in fact. Yeah, I'd be surprised if that was the case. So I don't know quite what to do. I'm not sure we should... Also, there's a note on this uh, wiki that I've been using just to see where this quest takes us. And this is apparently the hardest of the demigod bosses that we're about to head to. So I'm not overly sure it's the greatest plan for me to go there yet. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think we certainly need to explore this area a bit more than we have done. Uh, the one thing that concerned me more than anything else was those massive giant birds that seemed to destroy me in one hit with the massive beaks they've got. So, I'm not overly sure where to start, people. Uh, we could, I suppose, come back to the Rockview balcony, which I think... Yeah, let's start there, maybe, and start working our way around this area a little bit. Let's see how we get on. We can, always, we can teleport to the red main thing at any time we like, but let's, let's just get familiar with this area a little bit. Curious to see how good I am against the enemies in this area now that we've had a bit of a... Uh... Yeah, look, these feckers here. Um... 
Yeah, I'm almost positive the magma worm is up that way. Yeah, Guile Tunnel. I'm sure it's the Guile Tunnel. The magma worm was. I feel like I want to fight one of these enemies. Yeah, also, the path kind of leads... I want to fire at one of these birds just to see just how much damage I can take off them. Um... Uh, I can't hit the fucker, can I? That's a shocker. I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Can I hit this one? Well, they've obviously done that on purpose. Oh, there's my marker. So, I suspect I can get the map fragment if I go up that way. There's a tower up there as well. Alright. Well, I feel like that's doable from here. I'm sure there were some enemies kicking around this bait the last time I was here. Oh, hello. What's this guy? Those guys are nice and easy. Well, it's all a bit fiery up here. It's a wall of fire. realise I'm probably better off on the horse, but I'm just having a proper careful look about before go doing anything too drastic. Blimey. Hmm. Yeah, we've been there. Smouldering church. I think I'll head to the, the map fragment and just see how we get on. We've not got anything to lose, really. We've got a couple of thousand runes, but it's not that much is it, in the grand scheme of things. Ooh. Okay, we've got some creatures up there. Have rested. Why didn't I rest at the fireplace? points out of it, I suppose.
point actually. I wonder what the old um I wonder what the old great bow magic shots like against those big birds. Oh hello. Oh is that the one I started at? Then a massive circle. Yeah. <laughs> that I have. Yeah, there's the birds there. much point in doing that. I'm pretty sure I got the shinies from those rooms. Okay. Off again. Also, I'm pretty sure this is where I stood by a merchant and got my ass handed to me when I went for a wee. <laughs> Some massive creature started attacking me. What are these feckers here? Is that birds? Is that those birds? No, it's something else, isn't it? I'm not overly sure. Whirl O Flame. Is this a safe place to take a note? I think I've beaten these guys before, actually. Maybe I went round them. Oh, fuck. That was a bad time to run out, Steve. sure why I'm getting a, a flask back every time I fight these, like one of these guys. It's usually meant to be a group, isn't it, before you get one back. What's going on down there? Yeah, it looks like there's actually a path going down there from somewhere. down there, isn't it? There's normally a, a cave or something going on down there, isn't there? Or, or wherever they're pointing to, there's something worth going and investigating. What's that over there as well, look? A massive guy with a shield. Oh, it's a, a massive great bow, actually. Wrong way. Fuck you, doing. Okay, 
they're not actually too bad, but when you get them in a group, they're annoying. Well, I felt like there was going to be something they were protecting, but I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, it's actually the other area, that, isn't it? That, uh... Somebody wandering about over there on a horse as well. Eh, I think it's a horse. Every time. No, it's not a horse, is it? It's just somebody wandering about. Because that's that church over there. I'm wondering if I've been down this place before. I'm not remembering it. We can teleport back to the thing anyway, can't we? So we should better make that jump, surely. It's not that high up. Yeah. One Steve. Well, there's a massive pot up there, look. Big badger down there, look, I can see him breathing. Up up there, should have dropped down onto there from above. Well, it's not letting me lock onto this guy yet, so he's either someone to talk to or it's a boss that activates once you. Minor edge tree, been here before. I've not been to this actual point before. Yeah, I can fire on him now. Used the wrong fucking potion, goddamn it. I think my demigods are actually dead. I 
them are demi humans, whatever they are. Green Burst Crystal Tear. Flame Shrouding Cracked Tear. Nice. I've got that glowy shit on me again. It comes of defeating a boss, I think. Hey. Yeah. The horse back. Steed. Well, that big pot at the top is definitely going to be a character, I think. Just not sure if any of these are going to come alive. Used a few healths in that fight there. Tree catacombs. Well, there's a bit of an argument that says uh, level up here because we've got. Uh, well, enemies-wise, you've got all those little guys going down that path. Uh, don't think there was any further... Well, well that boss won't come back, will it? <clears throat> yeah, it's possible we've got enough to level... We need about 6,000 to level up. Two and a half grand, I think. That should do it, maybe. Runes held two four eight nine seven. Runes needed two three six four zero. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Level up, ride your pony. Intelligence thirty three. Curious actually, just before we do it, um, so we've got sorcery scaling of one hundred and eighty eight at the moment. Yeah, 
getting some serious power out of that sword as well that I'm not using much. As much as I should be anyway. went up to 191 Cre creeping towards this sorcery scaling of 200 here aren't we I'm going to come back to the catacombs once we've talked to this badger out here if, well assuming it is a conversation We get there from here. No, that's a different path, that is it? All right. So how do I get over there? Hmm. Okay, longer path round to that fella then. It was quite deceiving that, with him being a gigantic pot and these all being pots. But I guess the pointer that we activated is actually pointing to the catacombs. So. Let's go and see what these are all about then. Be rude not to while we're here. sword for a second because it's not the first time things leap out at you but also let's put the old lantern on shall we yeah I thought there would be Thank you. Good watch where they're uh, leaping from. Well, we've got a lift. anyway have we ah two ways to go here oh come on now well if I go running towards that, some bad shit's going to happen, isn't it? In fact, I'm not going to get rot if I go in there. Well, that was silly. That for. Christ, I made more damage with this than I did with the purple one. Must be weak to the old glintstone stuffs.
kidney stones. Let's get that. Just kill. Oh, hello. What the fuck was that? Another one next to me. Yeah, there was. I was going to attempt the sword there for that one, but I thought, why make life hard for yourself? So, yeah. <laughs> We've still got four magics left. Aye. Aye. Well, that's the red one, isn't it? So, we can cure ourselves if we do get rotted. I think it started, yeah, yeah, there's water to the side of me, that's why. Oh, hello. Feeling there was another one up there. There he is. soon enough. I might end up up there anyway. Back at the lift. There's about to be more of those goblins. Yeah, here we go. I never seem to get the follow-up shot right when I stun them. There's going to be more than one of them, isn't there? Right, shadow it out. Yeah, I'm not falling for that. Maybe another one in here. Alright. Let me be slightly careful because there's bound to be some form of boss in here, surely. Well, not in this room, but in this place. A giant lever, I think, but I'm not 100% sure what it's open. A heavy door has opened somewhere. Unless there was somewhere on the upper level that I didn't notice. Oh, well, unless there was uh, 
there's something in that rotted place that I didn't notice as well, to be fair. Probably the only thing I've not done well in here is uh, limit the amount of magic I've used up, but we've still got four left. And a little bit of a bar. Yeah, we must have to go back up, surely, because there wasn't anything else in here, I don't think. back up. I don't remember anything else in that bog, no. boggy area. Let's go up. Yeah, it felt pretty linear up this bit though. Unless I'm having a massive mind blank. Did I, have a, did I find the door in here? I don't think I did. No, it can't be. It's not going to have activated something outside of here, is it? Okay. Hmm. It's a mystery. Uh, well, unless there's somewhere to jump off on the lift. Of course. Didn't notice anywhere. the lever itself, so... Well, the only other place is the, the boggy area around the side. So we've unlocked something in here. It does seem a bit of a random area to have to fight your way through just for that one pickup right enough. Flummox this one, people. I'm definitely missing something. I'm going to have to run under this thing to see if there's anything I'm not seeing. So that's a no on that side. Wasted a whole pile of magic trying to get that going. Hang on a minute, where's this dude come from? Oh, that's a crab. Oh shit. Didn't realise it was that. Yeah, oh yeah, Scarlet Rock. Okay. 
Oh shit, that's not worked. It does seem to be red boluses I need to use. Oh, did I use the wrong thing? Yeah, I did. Shit, still not working. Pink ones are needed. Well, I'm not seeing it, people. I don't know where the, this door is, it's opened. Christ's sake, I feel like I'm missing something really obvious here, and uh, most of the others haven't been particularly complicated to notice where the door is that you needed to open. I mean, this is the only other room of any significance. It's some sort of hidden door that I'm needing to find and I can't. Where the fuck's this guy come from? Oh, is he dead? <laughs> I think I just knocked him as I went past. Huh. I don't know. I'm absolutely flummoxed, people. Anything I could jump off onto on the way down. And that's it. And that's just the way in. Well, I might have to bloody Google this. I'm assuming if I stand straight back on it, it'll just take me straight back up. Yeah, it does. So it's not like there's another layer to it. Well, yeah, the floor's closed off anyway, isn't it? But there does seem to, like everything I'm aiming at does seem to be on a, a, a level above where I am when I go down here. So that would suggest to me that 
there possibly is somewhere to jump off onto that's midway. Uh, like a lot of these lifts do have, but I'm not seeing it if, if there is one. And it would. Go down either side. Those things throw fire bombs at me and stuff. They're, they're all above me, aren't they? I think. And the other thing goes down. Not an underground map, is there? The shit is going on, people. You'd have put money on it being in this room, wouldn't you? The other one's got the lever in it, so... something about this room that's winding me up though because it is a significant size of room to only have just had one guy to fight and nothing else to do flame on those, isn't there? I wonder if that's a clue as to what's meant to be going on. Mind you, it can't be to do with magic, surely, because that would be a bit shit for someone that doesn't have magic, wouldn't it? mistake. Um, just wondering if there was something to do with light embrasures in here. Doesn't seem to be the case though. Nah, I feel, I feel like I'm missing something really obvious here. I do find the... Uh, torch a lot better than the lantern it has to be said I know it takes me over my weight limit but
Right, well, I think it's going to be a little Google off screen, people. I've hit the hour mark there. Most likely I'm going to Google it and there'll be a door that I've been running past over and over again and you guys have been screaming at the screen or something. Just have a little look in the other area with this torch on, see if anything's a bit clearer. Seeing note, people not seeing note. Okay. I think I'm going to have to look at a guide for this one, people. I mean, it, yeah, I suppose it's just if you fall off. There is a lever there to get the lift back if you do do something stupid, I guess. But I'm not seeing anything to drop off the lift onto at all. Okay, right. Hit the hour mark there, people. So I'm gonna. Sorry, a bit of a <laughs> wandering about aimlessly end to that part, but I'm not seeing it, people. I'm not seeing whatever it is that is mega obvious to everybody else is not mega obvious to me. So I'm gonna wiki search that, and then at the beginning of the next part, I shall tell you what I've discovered. Although someone may have put it in the comments by now, by the time you see this, or by the time the next part comes up, I should say. Well, there you are, folks. I shall start the next part from this very spot because I'm about to record it immediately afterwards. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Elden Ring on the PlayStation 5. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.